Hi, Bravo Cycles is here. Let's consider Tesla Cycles case study. Um, on the left, si left hand side, we have a cycle composite for Tesla from the weekly chart. And we could see that it's supposed to roll over soon uh, with the trough in February, then a bounce into May, June, then down into December, and then a strong rally in 20. 25 driven mostly by strong 66 week and 110 week cycles you could see that at some point from spring of 2025 both of these strong cycles will be driving tesla up we also see from the 20 day 20 week cycle that it could still push up for another week or so before rolling down of course we have to provide some plus minus tolerance uh, to these uh, from the daily cycles, we also see that 80-day and 20-week uh, cycles are in the peak region, but there are a few shorter cycles that could still push up, specifically 40-day uh, cycle and some shorter cycles. So you could see that 40-day cycle could support up to, say, five trading days up. On the right, I have Tesla price um, versus 20-week FLD. FLD is simply forward a line of demarcation, which is price shifted by half cycle period. Typical cycle period for, uh, you know, different uh, stock instruments is, uh, or, or indexes is about uh, 97 to 110 days. So the offset for this FLD for 20 week cycle is 48.4 for the left boundary and 55.3 for the right boundary. We already have valid 80 day cycle target to about 293 plus minus five, this green rectangle. So if the price gets there, it would cross this uh, right FLD boundary and uh, it already cr crossed the left FLD boundary and generated preliminary target to 330 plus. But when it crosses the right hand boundary, it would generate full rectangle for the cycle target roughly in 332 to 340 area as a matter of fact that target would be generated even without reaching 80 day cycle target as i said as soon as this fld uh, boundary is crossed by median um, median tesla price but things are never easy with tesla and let's consider some issues with the 40 week cycle there is still valid 40 week cycle target down to you know around 150 area plus minus which wasn't reached in october uh, sell-off and now tesla already crossed this shorter fld or uh, left boundary of that gray fld band and generated uh, a price preliminary price target somewhere around 330. if it reaches 80 day cycle target which is this box or just if it crosses this longer fld uh, offset blue one uh, then it would generate a uh, price target in 330 to 340 area which is about the same as for the 20 week cycle shown on the previous slide <coughs> last but not least let's consider uh, 80 week or 18 month cycle target last summer Tesla medium price crossed this 18 month FLD band and generated a price target range uh, from 680 to about 750. So to preserve that target, we need, we need Tesla medium price to stay above this FLD next several months. This, this target is uh, probably going to be reached in, in that strong push in 2025 maybe even into early 2026 but from the first slide we know that tesla is soon gonna dip into february dip down then push in push up into may june time frame that's where actually the 20 week and 40 week cycle targets could be reached then it should slide down into december and as long as it stays above this fld you know which is next several months you know in 250 range that that cycle target will be preserved as a matter of fact if we look how flb is going to be behave 
in the second part of the year, we see that it's just offset price. So in the fall, the FLD is going to be falling down. So allowing actually a, a deeper pullback into December, maybe even to 200 area before pushing up into 25, 26 time frame. Okay, well, that's it for today. Uh, if you like my videos, please put, put a like and uh, recommend to your friends. Uh, if you would like to follow my more frequent updates, follow me on Twitter or on my newsletter website. I posted these links in the video description. Until next time, bye.